Hey guys, Zotero Life. Hey guys, Life here with my buddy uh, Josh. He's doing his uh, Perform Agent Pals deck profile. Um, he he likes the deck a lot, and it's just pretty standard build. <laughs> Alrighty, go ahead, Josh. Although he does play a few interesting things. So. Yeah. Um, some of the cards that are like text like here that I don't think YouTube has really seen, but like the Mystery Shell Dragon and making Baxia. So that's probably going to be introduced to YouTube. Explain that combo because I don't think very many yeah, people know about nobody it. Nobody really knows about this combo. Some some really good guy who's making really good text came up with it. So yeah, I'll, I'll explain it whenever I come to it. Alright, so starting off I play one performance hat checker and one performance trick clown. Um, next. Uh, you know, this is just standard. Uh, you don't really need him anymore. Uh, triple, triple damage juggler. The usual, he's like pretty much the best card in the deck. Um, rip damage juggler in Japan. Uh, triple mirror conductor. A lot of people don't play triple, but I play triple because he's really good in the mirror match. And he can also do it during damage calc and you can really, you can actually go for games with this guy, surprisingly. Um, triple plush fire. Uh, pretty standard. Obviously, he's really the best card in the deck, other than Damage Juggler. Again, rip, rip in Japan. Uh, and then Triple Luster, the Draco Flare. He's uh, he's the combo card, combo other combo piece with the Flush Fire. So yeah, that's why I play him at three. Also, he's the tuner in the deck. The um, main one. <laughs> but the main one, yeah. But you also play the mask. Triple Vector, Pendulel, Dirt Dragon Flare. Um, you know, Vector Pendulum, the Dragon Flare. Um, Draco Overlord. Um, the fancy Germans. Fancy Germans, yeah. Uh, but he's got he's a zero defense, so he's a mass chameleon target. So is this guy, but you know, nobody really uses him mass chameleon target. And he uh, he negates your opponent's pendulum scales. So it actually is pretty useful. Um, one mass chameleon and one gold bulb. You only need to play one of these guys because you're only gonna be resolving him for a Baxia or a one card Ignister. And if you're going for the Baxia, you can um, really get an Ignister the next turn. Depending on what you special summoned, if you special summon from the deck that turn or special summon from the hand that turn. So that's that's also an effect that cannot be used if you do, have done that. Um, but yeah, uh, the glow ball for the Naturia Beast, um, he, nobody really plays the Naturia Beast, but people get shocked whenever you make a Naturia Beast first turn and they cannot do anything. So yeah, the salt gets real with that card also. Next I play Triple Mystery Shell Dragon. Okay, so now I'm gonna get into the combo piece, okay? Just gonna explain this really quickly. Go ahead. <laughs> so here's Baxia, Yangzing, okay? So this card, whenever uh, any worm tuner, I mean any worm type uh, synchro monster that is used for this card, you get to shuffle back in one card in your opponent's card, one, car one card of your opponent's controls without targeting. Yeah, um, it's basically a TR Misu. It's kind of like that, yeah. Um, so, but he's a zero defense, painful decision target, and he's also a 2k beast. Um, he's an attribute worm, so you can make this guy. Um, Get to the combo already. <laughs> yeah, so, and then the combo is you send him, add one, no one saw mass chameleon, special summon this guy from the, special summon this guy from the graveyard. Uh, so, send one, add one, normal summon, special summon, sync. Baxia, shuffle back your opponent's card. And yeah. that's the combo. And basically, if you do it right, you can end up with a crap ton of cards on field. Yeah. <laughs> um, his second effect is also, you know, to bop one of the cards you control to uh, special summon one level four from your graveyard. So you can also do that to special summon and up the mass chameleon back to make an Ignister next And turn. if you pop a pl plus fire, you yeah. can plus, plus even more. Yeah. yeah. Plush even more. <laughs> okay. Funny. <laughs> All right, so um, next I play the Gemini build also. We're going in for it, boys. <laughs> double? I think it works good with double brilliant fusion. So that's why I'm playing it too, because if you draw into him, you're pretty much fucked. Uh, brilliant fusion becomes a deck card. Next for the spells, if we're gonna go into the spells, let's just move that out of the way. One foolish burial, one instant fusion, one painful decision. Um, I'm gonna be bumping him up to two, don't know what I'm gonna cut yet, but I, I'll probably make a decision by the end of this video. <laughs> to Stop tell with you the puns already. <laughs> uh, two Mystical Space Typhoon. He, he's really needed in the deck for uh, back row. Mirror Force is a very, very card, big card that hurts his back. Same with pretty much any other card in back row. Warning's gonna hurt your five pendulum scale. Um, it's gonna really screw you. Um, double Brilliant Fusion, like I said, the double Garnet, double Brilliant Fusion. Uh, to get the Seraphonite out so you can get double normal summons and also send any of your light monsters. Next I'm playing Triple Upstart. Um, a lot of people are playing Upstart, and I may actually consider cutting him if I'm gonna go for a more um, non-traditional build. 
but uh, he's really good, and this deck has enough consistency as it is, so mm -hmm. he really is not needed. But it gives you advantage sometimes. Um, triple Wavering Eyes. Wavering Eyes is definitely needed at three in this deck because res waver resolving Wavering Eyes for four is really going to gain so much advantage on board for you. Then you're gonna have another one setting, setting there waiting for your opponent to walk right into again. And um, especially setting this with multiple back rows is very, very strong and powerful because once your opponent sets that other scale and you have two more scales, unless they're gonna have a damage juggler or another wavering ice to negate it, it's pretty much all over for them. Um, and you're gonna just instantly get the advantage. Next, I play with a series of three tap, three traps, all that needed in the deck, the, the staple three cards that are really good in limited one. Foul Morning, obviously. Uh, Vanish Emptiness and the Torrential Tribute. And uh, that'll complete it for the 40 card main deck. Uh, I think it's a pretty decently standard build. A lot of people don't play uh, Gemini build with with the Painful Decision build. So yeah, that's, that's kind of different. Okay. Let's get into uh, these new cards over here. This is the extra deck, and uh, I guess I'm not going to show the side deck, because it's mostly just preference. Yeah. So, uh, for the starting up of the extra deck, I played two Ignister. Around. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, two Ignister. Uh, uh, I actually own four. I do not play three, though. Two of them you got off of me. I mean, we're still cheap. <laughs> Um, card's crazy. It's, yeah. it's I've, been, really I've been saying that for like <laughs> ever, and nobody, nobody believed me. Nobody, like, <laughs> yeah, nobody pretty much knew. Like everybody knew about him, but yeah. I mean, nobody saw the potential in him. Like a yeah. lot of people did, but uh, yeah. Uh, Do you need to say more? <laughs> no, not not really. I mean, the, the fact that you can special summon pop. He's just got infinite potential. Doesn't dude. target the shuffling part. Yeah, it's just dumb. Um, next we have Vaxia, Brightness of the Yangzing. Okay. For the combo. For the combo that I explained in the video. You didn't I, do a good job. I didn't do a good job, but, you know, what more can you ask for? <laughs> <laughs> then Notoria Beast, it's a regular combo with the Hat Tricker or a Garnet um, with the Glow Bulb. I, most of you guys should probably know that combo by now. Um, what do you think about playing Power of the Rumo instead? The X Saber. Because eh. he's a wizard, he, you can search him off of uh, King of the Feral Imps. I, I haven't really heard of that build, but it, now that I'm thinking about it, it actually does sound pretty good. The X Saber, yeah. I, I'll tell you more about it after. Okay, right, well, it can work, yeah. So, take, take low tier's advice, guys. <laughs> Uh, next we have for the XCs, if we're going to go into this, like that. For our commons, <laughs> some nice King of Feralims. This card definitely deserves to go up to a super rare in Astro Pack, even in ulti. I would not be salty. Um, next I play one Trapeze Magician. The fact that you can target during your opponent's turn your opponent's monsters and make them die. Um, you also is, risk getting yourself OTK'd there. It's, it's got really good potential. I know that, but you really do risk it's, it because of your opponent. Especially if you have a guy who's higher than their main attacking monster that you're targeting. You're not, you're not really feeling that dumb yeah. Yeah. for doing that. Um, then some like normal super rares that you play. Some Dweller, Cowboy, Castell. Diamond Dyer puts in a lot of work. Mm -hmm. He puts in a lot of work. Just the fact that if you need to get two cards to the graveyard, and you're not going to be using Castell, you're going to be wanting to use Diamond Dyer. Um, also for back row. So Castell obviously doesn't target face down back row. Um, yeah. Next we have the Ultra Rares, Magister Paladin, and 101. Uh, Technically that's Gold Rare? Yeah, Gold Rare. He looks Ultra though. He's, he's close now. Um, what is it? 101. Probably gonna consider cutting him for another one of those useful cards. Um, maybe a s other card, a little tech card. Another Draco Slayer, possibly. Maybe. <laughs> but uh, what about the Fusion Draco Slayer once he comes out? Oh yeah, Fusion Draco Slayer. This 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 build's completely gonna change. Obviously, you're not gonna be playing any Gem Knight build or that <laughs> stuff. And also, Mystery Shell Dragon's gonna be irrelevant. So yeah, you know this this build is completely gonna change. This is post Bosch, and this is the most you know standard build. And then the next card that I really love and people do not play, Stack. My favorite XCs. Favorite XCs ever. It can get over anything that can be targeted, and it can even get over towers if you target one of their other monsters. Towers is banned though, but it's just something. Back in the back in the Windover Towers was not banned. 
tower zone. Yeah. No, nobody even thought of him as a tower zone. I'm like, what? What? What are you gonna do? Target your stealth with 28 attack. Gain attack. Yeah. Uh, so. Actually, that wouldn't work because stealth is un unaffected by any monster of level eight or lower. Whatever. Or or You're four. gonna target something of theirs. <laughs> I'm giving out really bad things. And I, uh, I was actually a cleat player myself. And now I feel stupid. Um, next for the suffusions, Norden and Gem Knight Seraphonite. Gem Knight combo. Send send a send a damage juggler and a Gem Knight Garnet. Special summon this guy in defense. And uh, you're gonna be able to know him twice, and it really puts in a lot of work. So yeah, that's it. Yeah. Go ahead. Any final thoughts that you wanna say? Um. Not really, this deck will win you a lot of games, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> if, um. uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna quickly slide, slide across my side deck, just to show, maybe. I don't know, just go a quick side across, because I just... I wanted to get to playing this card, playing this card, and playing this card, okay? Okay. So, that's all I wanted to talk about. Sorry. I'm not gonna rant on about it. Pendulum Shift? So good, nobody gives it enough credit. Okay, the fact that it's a quick spell, spell you can really lock, you can lock your opponent down for one turn. I'll change your mirror conductor into a yeah. five, and now, oh hey, <laughs> what do you do? Yeah, it really does, it really does hurt opponents' decks. And then this deck, this card's gonna become really relevant, especially with going turn one. Um, and your Pepe stuff? That's Lightning Thunder Lord. Uh, uh, I mean, Lightning Rod Lord. Yeah. Sorry, my camera really can't like pick up the name. He is going to be really relevant next format with with ending your turn with this play, ending your turn with normal summoning that guy. He's going to be very, very relevant. If, if you still have your normal summon left. But yeah. if you end your turn with a main phase 2 normal summon of him, uh, or just even still in main phase 1, I guess, because you can't go into that in first turn. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, he'll be really strong. Next and then this card, final card, Baller, but you need him in the extra deck. I mean, side deck, sorry. Just for the mirror match. Also, you can push for game. Gonna say this now, you should really be playing that in your extra, not your side, because there's all sorts of really weird rollings with uh, siding extra deck cards. Oh, you can? Um, yeah, there's weird rollings with like your card sleeves and stuff, like your card sleeves, your extra deck, and your main deck all have to be the same color if you're siding an extra deck monster in a Oh, okay. So he, yeah. he has to be. Pink sleeve, I guess. Yeah. Okay. All right. it, it's a really weird rule, and your main and your extra deck also has to have the same color card sleeves as your main deck. It, it's a and there's some other rules on that as well. It's really legit. Which is why you rarely ever see people side main deck. Like you know, like you see people siding Cyber Dragon, but maining Chimera Tech. It's because there's so many just absolutely stupid rules with uh, siding extra deck monsters. It could. It could definitely. Uh, yeah. Get into that. But yeah, it's a pain in the butt. I'm, I'm just gonna eventually play him in my. Uh, extra deck whenever I find space for it. But that's all for today. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and hope you learned something about some new combos and stuff and uh, have a great day guys. Peace out.